Many car enthusiasts will say that their exhaust systems sound like music to their ears, but I was wondering if you could make an exhaust system that literally is music. Like it's actually music. That's right, in today's video we put a trumpet on an exhaust baby, let's go! I have no clue how these work, but like if it can turn the human mouth into music, to be able to turn my go-kart into music, to be music to my ears, so. People imitate trumpet exhaust, like they make these fake trumpet exhausts where it's a trumpet end, but it's just the end, it's not a real trumpet. This is a real working trumpet that we got from eBay, and it's going on this exhaust system, and we're gonna see if it works. Before you say that these things probably aren't meant for automotive purposes, look at what came, look at what came with the kit. That says high performance synthetic oil. Now, if that doesn't sound automotive, I don't know what does. I mean, this is, it's like meant to be it. All I gotta do is take this, put it in here and start it. And then like music. Okay, so will an exhaust work with a trumpet? Will it sound better? I don't know, we'll see. choked my engine out i think the hole in the mouthpiece is a little too small so i'm slowly boring it out bigger and bigger being cautious not to get metal flakes into my engine if so you know it is what it is some extra amount She's hot. There's like all that like moisture coming out of it. All that oil. That's weird. It's oily. From all the, maybe all the valve slide oil. Hey, the valves still work though. Oh, it killed it. I don't think that's a good thing. That smoke was coming out of here. Which means it's breathing in its own exhaust fumes, which can't be good for power. We've been having difficulty keeping the trumpet on there, but now I can show you what I've done. Yeah, I just stuck a nail right through it and then just bam, you know, carry on with your day. So safe to say that you lose a good amount of performance putting a trumpet up there. So let's see how fast she goes, I guess. I'd be surprised if I hit 25 miles an hour. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere close. Usually this thing goes around 45, but it is not breathing well at all with that, with that trumpet on there. Let's see. Like literally this whole time, it was just struggling so much. Not enough airflow for it to work. It's so weak. It's just that hole's too small, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to find a different method. Oh my gosh, oh it's hot. Bro, what happened? But dude, look, this part came off. Oh. 
We gotta drill another hole. <laughs> we gotta put another Wait. hole. That wasn't even the part I was worried about. Well, all we did was just put another nail in there and now we got two nails holding it on and we're back running again. Don't worry, I'm dedicated. Also, the funniest part is I was driving and it shot this part out of the trumpet. It shot this part out too. There was so much pressure. <laughs> that's probably why it started going faster too. I was like, yo, I'm going. And then that's probably why. Overall, the trumpet exhaust actually kind of worked. It was definitely a lot louder, but super restrictive to airflow and made the cart really underpowered. But I plan on making a second video where I fix these issues to make the trumpet exhaust even louder and faster. So subscribe and stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be even better than this one. The trumpet exhaust is actually going to work, so yeah. Actually, I don't know. It's probably like unburned gas. Kind of smells like oil and gas. I don't know. At this point, my nose is so messed up, man. Like, you, not, you never know. Look at all this soot around these holes. It's like... I'm trying to come out. What if we took those out? We could. We could like drill tiny holes here. Oh, for, help with airflow. For real.